This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers. Uh, it's 4.32 on March 20th, uh, and this is an open of the Public Safety Building Committee meeting. Um, and I guess we'll start out with the agenda. Uh, um, comments from any members of the public who wish to speak? And seeing no one here, we'll move on to the second one is um, review of the minutes. We have two sets of meeting, meeting minutes. The uh, first one There's is for the hard copy of them? March 16th meeting. Here's no, I'm sorry. This is the 27th. Oh, right. Here's Here's the meeting on February 27th. Do um, you want to ask hard copy, John? Uh, sure, I got it. I need to make sure I got it. All right. All right, so I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of March 16th, 2023. February 27th. Oh, February 27th. February 27th. Yeah, thanks. Third second. I'll second. Okay, first and second. Any comments? Um, was this one where there were edits? Uh, or the other ones? No. The 16th. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't the 27th. 27th. Okay, all right. It's been first and seconded. No, no objections. Are all in favor? Say aye. 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 Approved unanimously. Uh, we also had a second meeting. We had a nice visit to the um, Hadley Public Safety Buildings. We really didn't have a schedule for one. We went to both uh, to review the min meeting minutes. Um, there's drafts been sent around. Does anyone have any comments on the meetings? Any meeting minutes? Yes, Charlie. I found that information you sent relative to the deficiencies they discovered to be very helpful. And, and that raises a question, should they be attached to the minutes? Should that document be part of the minutes? Are they referenced in the minutes? Uh, in a general way, not in a specific way. I think you should put them in the minutes because they're, they're a good reference point of... Yeah, well, I scan those and send them out to everyone so they can copy it. Also, attach that um, study. Right. So I'll, I'll modify the minutes to say, see attached. Mm -hmm. And where's the other edit, or is, or is it already correct? It's fixed. Okay. Yeah. Then mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of March 16th. I just have a question about the adjournment at 2.38. Um, since I left early, did we, did we indeed yeah. adjourn at that time? Remember yeah. she said we're, they were, we were in the um, back, there, like the Sally Port area. Yeah. And she said we're going to end the meeting now, but that was before the decision was made to go to the north. Oh, end. okay, so it wasn't you. <laughs> no, it, that wasn't, second it wasn't me because I went out the front door okay. from, from the bays. From I know I um, seconded it. Oh, you seconded it? And who made the motion to adjourn? Does anybody remember? Was it you? You can pick me. <laughs> I, I have to say, I don't remember who it was. So we yeah. just That's say Chief right, Workman? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we're all in agreement. I think it was unanimous. <laughs> yes. Well, everybody was present was unanimous. Yeah, yeah that's what we yeah. meant. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so it'll be Chief Workman who made the motion and seconded by Rini. Yeah. Thank any, you. Any other comments? First and second it. Um, all those in favor of approved minutes as amended, say aye. 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 Approved unanimously. Uh, just a second comment there. Well, that was an extremely valuable meeting. We uh, saw the best of both worlds. Um, the old fire station had lots of problems, and the new fire station didn't have a lot of problems. So. Uh, Christine and I had to leave before going to the other one. I wonder if someone could say a word or two about Thank you. Yes, I, I Yeah, uh, we went to, I mean, if you were the first one, they were talking primarily about All the how problems, the designers right. didn't do it right. They didn't, they left empty spaces with multiple problems. And that's why they hired DRA to do a review of how to fix the old fire station. Uh, went to the new fire station, which was designed by Kayla and Munich, and they absolutely loved it. Um, mm -hmm. Everything was seemed to be very well laid out, clean, uh, seemed to operate very efficiently. I couldn't say enough about how well it worked. Mm -hmm. um, they, I mean, it's, it's not used very much right now, but uh, it seemed to be very well laid out. Any, any other committee members had comments? Oh, it's large, it's largely fire only, right? Pardon? Yeah, it's, it's largely only right. fire only, although yeah. Yeah, the it's not policemen a... are 
able to use the uh, to record record or something that they mm -hmm. need to. Yeah. Is it a brick structure? And they use it as a community, a community room to the to the general. Right. They 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 use um, the bomb squad comes out. I mean the canine people come right. out and use it for practice. Do paperwork and stuff. Yeah. Um, the exterior building. I don't believe it's brick. I was questioning whether it was a brick structure. It's a hardy board. I think. Yeah, I think with the it, it, it is. Okay, that's the cement board. Mm. Yeah, it's like a. Yeah. Yeah. And there are two bays I with like double a, doors. It's like a bay and a half, but it's extra wide because one of the things that he commented right. on in his primary building is that the bays weren't wide enough. Right, right. We saw that. So the one, uh, the, the other one, although it was only a bay and a half, was extra wide, which made it seem more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think one of the biggest things I took away was hire a competent architect. Mm -hmm. I mean, anybody can design a building, but uh, the quality of the architect is more important than just the price. So. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't hear what somebody said what the police used it for. I, I know exercise room. Was there another? Somebody? I think they, just, they, they, they had an office room that they could write a report in. Oh, okay. Just because right. I think some of them lived down that end of town. Mm -hmm. So okay. just a convenience, but it was, I think the overall that it was shared. Yeah, okay. Primary that station had a heated apparatus floor yeah. that they were yes. very happy with. Which, you really which have. I think they didn't have in the, in the first one? No. no. But they did have in Granby. But not in the main station in Manhattan. Covington has a heated floor. They think that's the most valuable feature in our private project. Covington? Is that right. what you said? Yeah, because so if, if you heat the airspace and then you open the doors to go on a response, you lose all that condition there. Mm -hmm. Not so much for the heated floor. Uh, well, we're talking about the Hadley Fire Station. Um, I think talking about possibly going to see West West Hampton as another yeah, good example right. to go see. So we need to probably put that on a future agenda yeah. to visit West Hampton. Yeah, especially it's so new. Yeah, it's so new and it's right in the middle of some of that process still. And there's a bunch of things that went well and didn't go well for me there, so I think it would be valuable. Is that police and fire? Yep, police and fire. And, uh, and I want to say he came in at about 4.5. Yeah, it was But that was a 2%. He made a big deal of saying about the 2% interest. Mm -hmm. uh, allowed him almost a million dollars additional to spend. But Whereas if it had been 6% interest, he wouldn't have had that mm -hmm. flexibility. I believe the second floor is not developed. Right, that's what I thought. I was, trying, yeah. I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking that originally. I thought maybe I meant Williamsburg, but I thought I read that the second floor is not developed. Yeah, built for some expansion. Right, right. I went by Williamsburg the other day, and it's coming well along. It's. I don't know when they can occupy it, but it looks like it's really moving along. I don't know if you know the answer when it can be occupied. Right. I think Bill sent me a note. He sent me photographs, but I. I don't know. I think this summer. Really? Yeah. It's it's really attractive. Do we know who the architect is for either of those buildings? Williamsburg uh, or West Hampton? It, I think I, yes, I do. I have it in my notes. I'm curious. Yeah. Okay. Uh, moving along, the update from the senior center. I think we'll try to keep things abbreviated. We have several people leaving early today. Yeah. So I'll just say, um, we had a good public meeting and we didn't get a chance. Thank you for so many committee members from the public safety that went. There was not a lot of questions with the public safety mm -hmm. complex, which I was kind of surprised about. Um, but I think the presentation went very well and it's available on eMedia if you want to see it. And uh, this Thursday at 12 noon is a Zoom meeting and the uh, properties will be scored. The four of them will be scored one, two, first and second priority. And there's a request of the select board tomorrow night by the chair to reach out to landowners to actually uh, first negotiation in terms of how much land and how much money. And so that's pretty much the update from here. The study will be done by the first week in April, I think, April 5th or 6th. They're planning on doing the final report to the back to the committee which is well in advance of the May 19th or whatever deadline so I'm hoping that will help secure funds and they can even go so far as to purchase land if they need to at some point but that's uh, first steps first they're going to be scoring uh, the properties in order of priority and reaching out to landowners of select board will 
And I just want to do two other updates from the select board. One is, um, you know, we had two meetings that were canceled because of the weather. So the one, the meeting on Tuesday is, you know, been put off a bit. But I did report back to the select board about the um, about uh, the associate <coughs> members, and there hasn't been anything done to change the charge on that yet. But I did mention that this committee voted on that, so that should be on the agenda. It is. Okay, good. And then the other but one what, is. What did the committee vote? I might have. The committee that. here voted to uh, oh, uh, support associate members. To support them, okay. And I think it was to make a quorum, but not as voting members, right? Was mm -hmm. I right about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then, um, if needed for a quorum, I should say, they would fill in. And then the other thing is, um, I did ask the select board if they would consider encumbering some money for this feasibility study. Uh, we have um, 75 of ARPA and 50 from the legislature and I mentioned that you know we have no other ready source of funds that hopefully they'll be willing to hold on to an additional um, 50,000 or so so I think that's also in the agenda for this coming Tuesday tomorrow night's meeting are we looking at ARPA applications I didn't think so until the 28th okay that will be the 28th but I did mention it more than once the idea and of course we're going to we, we will know what the RFQs have been stated as in terms of, I haven't looked through them yet, but I don't know, you can tell us what the amount is. But anyway, I'm hoping that uh, there'll be support for that. And then in addition to that, I think there were three other grants that have been written to fund the pre-construction phase of the public safety complex. Chris Files has been incredibly busy along with Caitlin Swistak Brooks and Dave, and they ran one of them by me, and I wrote a support letter from the select board. So the, um, uh, the congressional, what is it, congressional directed funds for both Markey and Warren, uh, two separate applications were put in for money specifically for the public safety pre-construction uh, expenses. And then the one-stop grant was also put in with a priority. I think the only request was public safety money right. for pre-construction. So anyway, brush of fingers, there's three opportunities for grants for the next phase, and hopefully OPERA will cover the first one. Well, you took those words out of my mouth. I was going to mention the uh, oh, okay, work that Chris Fowles had done, so she did a great yes. job. Well, you've yeah, been answering it again. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Right. She so, worked very hard and so working right. all weekend on that. And yeah. until 2 or 3 in the morning. Yeah. yeah. I know. So I sent the letter off about at midnight, and I was shocked that she got <laughs> wrote a letter back to me. I went to go to bed. That was only one time the snow was really beneficial because we got yeah, a, a th right. three day de uh, de uh, delay for the submission tape. Right. Okay. Um, I guess we go to the next big scenario. Um, before we announce what we got back from RFQs, I don't know if everyone's aware there was a request for qualification and clarification mm -hmm. that Ed worked on. Just a, there were five different questions that we sent out as an addendum to some questions. I don't know if anybody was interested. There were some minor questions. Um, Did it all, I, I, we saw the list of the questions. Of, were there any concerns or any? No, I still have to go deep into the package and make sure that they all acknowledged addendum number one but other, other than that they were those five questions were from two different vendors so mm -hmm. no one else had asked any questions and mark thank you very much for your help in helping me compile those responses <laughs> to put it to that addendum. Yeah. Right. yeah thank you it was yeah. short timing so yeah. i was on my way out of town and couldn't even look at them Thank you for doing that. Um, I guess the stage is in Ed's hands. We've apparently got five responses back. We did. So we went from one issue to another, but we got five responses back. We got responses from J JCJ Architecture, H2M Architects, EDM Studio, KON Bedic Associates, and HKT Architects. And the flip side of the new issue is uh, other than EDM Studios, the other four are too large uh, to go through the email system. So um, I did go back and find the Google Share Drive that uh, Sarah Stein had set up long ago. All five are in there, uh, along with the scoring sheet. Um, 
you do need a Google account to sign in. So if you can't access it or don't have a Google account, I, we do have two hard copies of the proposal available and a set of USB drives that anyone that isn't able to access that Google shared drive uh, to do the story <coughs> to be able to hand out. I, w I will need to have paper copies. So may I request one of those two hard copies? That's up to the committee because I'm going to say we've got three pieces available. So it's up to the committee who gets them if there's more than three that need them. And I would even go as far as saying if someone has a preference to a hard copy but has access to the Google Drive, and someone else doesn't, the individual does not have access to the Google Drive. Okay, we well, I, I won't be able to do it on the computer. I have a. Oh, I'm hoping that we don't have more than three that need access to another form. Well, let's just back into the, what's, what are we going to do in terms of, everybody has to do their independent scoring, yep. and then show back up for, or send you an email with your right. actual score, you'll compile them, I'll and then we'll meet. Yep. How much time did we originally put in the, uh, what was our calendar? It was a real quick turnaround, like the same week, because I think we've got in there March, March 23rd, 3rd through, I think, April 11th for interviews. So I would probably hope if everyone's available next Monday that we might be able to turn it around by then. If not, maybe later in next week to okay. get together and go over those. Well, maybe people can um, share the two copies or the hard copies, people that um, have a difficult time. And maybe if there's a week or at least five days, maybe that can be. Who else wants a hard copy? Christina and Don, anybody else want a hard copy? Okay, there's the two Makes it copies. easy. <laughs> there we go. Super. When do you want the questions back by or the scoring back by? Depends on when that meeting is. I would want, I would want well, let's just say, for example, committee decided they wanted to meet on the 27th, I would probably ask that everyone send me back those responses by the 20, Sunday the 26th so I can compile something. All right, so. Is that feasible for everyone here to, within the next week, yeah. five days, <coughs> these? This for me. Gotta be. Yeah, it's gotta be. So, and so everyone should turn in four sheets to you. Five. Five, 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 five sheets for, to you. One for each other. And there's a spot on the top of the sheet for the individual compiling the score and the vendor's name. That sounds too easy. So we're gonna have our next meeting next morning. Well, that's the question. I think it's uh, that next like money has been proposed. Is that uh, acceptable or yeah. feasible for next, most people? I was just looking. I thought we gave a little bit more time. I thought the actual interviews were set up because I don't think we can change that if we decide between two firms. I think since we gave them a date, let me just bring up the original RFQ, the last one, I should say. Yeah, I think it'd be a short turn around. So what do we need? Well, let's... Let me just I'm gonna bring up the actual RFQ <coughs> calendar. Okay, qualifications from March 16th. Interviews, if necessary, was from March 23rd to April 6th. Oh, 6th. <laughs> Submit design or recommendations to the select board April 11th. Execute the contract by April 27th. That's cranking along. Yeah, that's a tight turnaround, but better that we got them. Yeah. So the interviews would be March 23rd through April 6th. So yeah, we definitely need to. So March 27th at 4.30 for mm -hmm. our next meeting. And you want me to try to compress those files for you so you can send them out electronically? I mean, I know you got them in the Google server, but if you want me to give it a shot. 
If the two people that are, are need hard copies are comfortable with it, I'm fine with that. Okay, 4.30. And you want uh, the score on the 27th. And you want the scoring back by the 26th. Sunday night? Is there enough time to come by home? Yeah, he, he doesn't go to bed until 2 in the morning. I like Chris. He's got all day Monday also. Oh, the, 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 no, that's a day, that'll be a day before a select board meeting. Right? Not quite as crazy as the day of a select board meeting, but close enough. Well, I thought we Okay, so uh, going without going through all five of them, did you look at them to see what kind of dollar amount they're proposing? I'm just curious. So it would be negotiated. There is no dollar be, amount. So there's no dollar amount. No. So we're basically just scoring it based on, so if they don't make, meet the basic criteria, they're out. If they don't meet the basic, the criteria. basic criteria, they're out. And then it's subject to the scoring on uh, the uh, subjective criteria. Okay. And, and again, I would probably guess that there are probably two or maybe three that might float up above the others and then it's a question of what, how many of the committee would like to actually have okay. uh, physical interviews with. And we can't change anything we put in the original RFQ right? in terms of negotiating a price. So we can't say, oh, you know what, we don't really need you to go look at all these other stations because we know we need one. Like, let's cut that down so that we can come in at 150 or less. Once we've come to that final here's our recommendation yeah and negotiated the price if we need to we can go there okay really yeah. yes charlie the scoring sheet is it reflective of the last change in the rfq that was sent out yeah so. what what do you what are you referring to i'm sorry well the scoring sheet is based on the uh, application that was sent out but we changed that application and I'm just wondering if the scoring sheet was modified to reflect that. The only piece in there that would actually change it, you could actually say it's part of the minimum criteria, if one of those five d did not include the acknowledgement of addendum number one, they'd be up. Other than that, there's nothing else. And everything else was more clarification than changing okay. the, the criteria. But we, when I had done the draft change, now I'm not sure if it's the second time or the third time, but I do uh, remember specifically changing the evaluative criteria on the RFQ. Mm -hmm. We had changed um, a number of things. Yeah, we had dropped uh, like number of years or right. yeah, comparisons or whatever. Yeah. So but that's, that's all in there. Yeah, I think that's all done. Story. I think the first time around we changed it to public safety building slash complex. And, um, and, we, and then the second time around, reduce the number of um, required buildings. So it looks like it's all there. And I'll remember actually to send that RFQ out to everybody too, so they've got it to look at. So you're going to, just clarify, you're going to resend Oh, I'll commit a copy of the RFQ. The copy of the RFQ, so everyone's going to see what was happening. I have it right here. Do you want me to send it to everybody? Yeah, sure, please. Thanks, Rene. Yeah. Well, I thought we'd be here till midnight. <laughs> no, we're not. We're, we're doing this at home. <laughs> yeah, we have to. If I can figure out how to get back in there. <laughs> okay. I can't remember I doing it a lot of years ago so as a committee. Infrequently, oh. remembering that. Yeah. For some reason, why Ron Lauren was put on this? Maybe it was Ron Lauren. Yeah, he's on the public. He's on the senior center. He was on the list, that email list that you went out, sent out on the Google Drive. But I, 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 I oh, the other update from the like, but as I did mention about um, Barbara, she didn't send an official resignation. But I was going to ask the finance committee to send another representative to this committee. <clears throat> if we're up to date on 
our response time and what we're going to do. Is there any other business that we would like to discuss? I'm just going to go put five copies of each of those in two sets together so that Christina and Don have them before they leave the meeting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Can you help me find it mm -hmm. on my Google Docs? Yeah, let me just uh, take this. Well, like I said, after yep, the meeting, it's, I'm just going to, um, I want to just send this mm -hmm. to everybody. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. I don't want to find it. Pardon? Google Docs, I can't find where it is on the Google Docs. Um, you just go to that well, website that you can't us. find. Uh, it? Did you oh, I have to do it. I'll do it by the email. Sure. Okay. That's the email, you don't have that uh, yes. link, and it sends you right there. Okay, sorry. Nice. That's a good way to do it. I just went right to Google Docs, so I haven't opened it. Charlie, Christina, Cindy, John, Dawn, Mark. Everybody, right? All right. I just had the RFQ in the last one out. Got two marks. I got two marks. Could you get my name in there too? Right. Yep. Okay. Everybody. If you didn't get it, let me know. You didn't know. No, I haven't. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Whew. <laughs> I'm just curious from uh, editorial perspective. When we send the score sheets back to Edge, should we do that in a PDF or go ahead and send it back to them in an Excel? Because sometimes you send an active mm -hmm. Excel, they can get messed up. Oh, I don't know. So I if you have a PDF, PDF, it's a hard copy. Yeah, it's in a PDF. So if you, yeah, that's you know, if everybody has a process, you know, when you save it as a hard copy, save it as a you PDF. get your Excel filled out, printed as a PDF, and then send the PDFs to Ed, that was a hard copy. It can't be changed. Issue of questions. So, so send the scoring job as a PDF. Correct. Okay. So the people that are looking at hard copies, can you create a PDF? Well, with they your can. Scoring? They can give him a paper copy. Oh, paper, paper copy. copy. Or paper. Okay. I think it's okay to say this, but um, EDM was a finalist of the. Um, it was between Abacus and EDM when the senior center scoring came in. And uh, EDM was the architect for Hadley Senior Center and Salt Hadley Senior Center. Just And we did ask Chief Workman to circle back to Chief Spark Neville. Did I say it right? Yes, yeah, Spank Neville. Uh, Pretty uh, small Spanky. Oh, oh yeah. Spank Neville to find out the name of the architect for the building that they were dissatisfied with. It's, he hasn't it's gotten in the response. report. The oh, architect that they had. It was in there? It's in this report, yes. Oh, so it is? No, I read it. It's in there somewhere, but uh, yeah. yes. The original architect? The original oh, architect. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. You had the opportunity to see the PD side of it or no? Pardon? Yes, you did. Yeah. Okay, good. It was all very small. They were all just like random sharing between the offices. They had, it was the strangest building. They had so much dead space. They had so much wasted space, right it was there. unbelievable. Oh. And the entire, the, uh, the entire oh. eaves over the yeah. garage was just like Again. completely yeah. full of nothing. Did they yeah. respond yeah. to the RFQ? Yeah, yeah. They, no. had, they took every and space that they been could. Dissolved. They opened up uh, walls and there was a blind space. Okay. It was good. really a terrible design building. It's not one of them. It's not one of our five. No. That's what I asked. No, it's not there. But the other thing, too, is I think, you know, like, firms change over time, too. You know, a lot of it has to do with leadership and other things. So we still have to score it based on the, the merits of the proposal. Just to follow up, you said that um, Kalen Bienick did the North Fire Station for Hadley, which they were very pleased with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And thank you very much. Enjoy your really studies. Thank you. Thank you. 2015 one. At least I'll be able to do it here. Okay, now that looks like a laborious task. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it's just all the pages of qualifications. Yeah, and, uh, right. again, because I don't know if everybody saw the addendum, one of the uh, addendum questions was, uh, I think we specifically said they had to org charts and resumes yeah. in, in several locations, and the addendum asked, can we put them all in one place in the DSB forms? Yeah. So that if you're looking through for disqualification, well, they didn't put the resume in, they didn't put the early chart in to the actual body. 
as long as it's in the document we said from the addendum, that's okay. It doesn't need to be exactly formatted mm -hmm. in the same order that we requested the RFQ. So don't hold that against them if you have to look in the back for the resumes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought probably the most pertinent question in there of the five that were asked was the question that was asked of they could retain the copyright too. Correct. Well, we actually retain what I would say is ownership. So. And the response to that was yes. Pardon? And the response, I mean, our, our response to that was yes, you could retain that. Right. I mean, that, that's a very common scenario for yeah. architects to own and copyright of their work. Um, it's all the insurance companies suggest that they do that. We can have the work copy and the work documents and we can share those and if we want to publish them somewhere else, all we do is call the architect and say, can we do it? And they, no reason that they wouldn't allow us right. to. How did that end then? What, what, what was the decision around the What's ownership? That? What was okay. the decision? We around? said yes. Okay. That they could retain the But we can post website. it on our website. Okay. Or something. All right. Well, because you have to go home and start reading. I don't yes. think you're <laughs> Get an allowance for reading glasses from the select them so we can do it. Mm -hmm. um, any other questions regarding what's going on here? And if not, is there a motion to adjourn and go home and read? So moved. Seconded. Then first and second, any comments? Who was second, Charlie? Oh. You. Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 We are adjourned to go home and read. Good. Okay, 503. This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers.